All right, a really special anabolic academy. I got me, John Livia, Uncle John, Big Danny Broadhurst, and IFBB Pro and doing the New York Pro this Saturday, Eric Wood. What's happening, Eric? What's up? How are you? All right, man. So before we started, we were talking about how you're feeling, and you basically feel like shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel good for prep, I guess. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. No how prep, you, but... I yeah. asked Nate this question. Um, how do you keep yourself occupied? Because I know, I mean, like, I've never did it at your stage, but when you're at this point, it's like you're, you're really depleted. You know, you, 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 you're very, you're really um, always on edge. What do you do to keep yourself occupied? Just like, I mean, I kind of just take it a day at a time, not look too far ahead. Yeah. But uh, just go through the motions, you know, eat at the same time, cook the same meals, train, train at the same time. Yeah. So very, you know, everything's the same pretty much. No video games or movies I or I tried game. getting into that. Like I've been I've been playing a lot of chess this prep on my phone. Oh, you're one of those smart bodybuilders. You're the anomaly. You're the fucking I, I, no, not, I don't I'm I'm not very good at it, but yo, speaking of smart, did you see that kid that graduated from college at 14 years old? Mm-mm. Dude, I swear to God, he was uh, 14 years old. He graduated from college with a computer science degree. 14? Yeah, 14. Yeah, sorry today. Is that like eighth, eighth grade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eighth grade. I, I, I think I just started masturbating. I mean, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I've been masturbating way before that. That's it. All right, so uh, Eric, what we do is we take a bunch of uh, questions from Instagram yeah. and we answer them on Anabolic Academy. So you didn't happen to get any questions, did you? Uh, it didn't. It didn't have me. I, I just shared it. I think it went to yours, though. Okay, <clears throat> no problem. So we'll just jump in. Uh, the first one is uh, the most obvious one. Um, who was the most impressive at the guest posing at the Pittsburgh Pro this this week? Would you? Who uh, do you think was the most Lunsford, impressive? Derek. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. I thought. What do you, did you see it, Danny? No, I didn't. I didn't get you to watch. I, I saw Dave's thing on it, but I didn't even watch it. Yeah, Lunsford. It's hard to, and, hard to and tell somebody's in the off season. I mean, yeah, I don't know. But Lunsford looked bigger and like in shape. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. But but Samson was impressive too. Yeah, him too, and and Hunter. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, you know, Hunter's. You know, I think his drawback, and I like Hunter. We've had him on MD. I've interviewed him. He's a good dude. Um, uh, his drawback seems to be when he stands next to a guy like Derek or Samson, oddly enough, seems to be his shape. But right? he kind of has a strange midsection. And, you know, I mean, when it comes like Derek and Samson have this fucking knockout symmetry, mm-hmm. this just knockout fucking uh, balance. It's just, you know, I think it's going to be those two battling it out. Right. Uh, Especially in after the future. Samson went the Arnold. Yeah, that's what that, I mean. That sets you know? him up like, you know, that puts him way up there. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was one guy in the lineup that was like in shape. Was he like he was guest posing? I don't know who he was. The Pittsburgh. Right? Uh, that, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's doing New York. Oh, is that what it is? The foreign guy, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he's doing New York Pro. Oh, uh, all right. I don't know. Yeah, but those two guys are definitely uh, the most impressive to me. I mean, it was just unbelievable. Yeah, Danny, when you get a chance, you got. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Clarita looked huge for five yeah. foot two yeah, they I all mean, look really good. yeah and nick lewis looked like a monster but when you throw him yeah, up there, like, nick. yeah nick always looks like a monster though he's a freak he's a freaky it's unbelievable the, the amount of size that guy has on all right so we got that one here's a question is an odd question but question <clears throat> guy wants to know what's the safest steroid cycle yeah danny you could take that one <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I mean, if that's what you're worried about, you I'd probably nothing. Be taking steroids. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You know, I don't know. Yes, I, yeah. there, there is no safe steroid to take. I'm just say one that you monitor with blood work and, you know, yeah, not, yeah, not ask the gym bros what to take. Right, yo, definitely not. Yeah, the gym bros are just unbelievable. But you know, also depends what gym you go to, too. I mean, like, like, and I noticed that in the hardcore gyms, a lot of guys know what they're talking about you know but the young kids know not so much but i mean maybe it's just my experience i don't know but some i've i've run into people in the gym i've run into like two different types of people not people that are competing but i run into people that 
one of two things. Either they're deathly afraid to take something, but they want to. So they wind up taking like, you know, 10 milligrams of Anavar, right? Mm -hmm. Or the guy just injects everything. Like, and what else could I take? Uh, Nothing. Jesus, relax. You know, those are the two guys that I come across mostly in the gym. No, like in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, it's like chill. You know, you don't have to, you know. I had one guy, if you notice, Danny, I I took a scoop and a half this time of, of mission, which is why I can't shut the fuck up. Huh. <laughs> Eric, you'll you'll meet uh Arns uh this weekend. He'll be at the New York Pro. He has a uh a supplement line called uh I Prevail Subs. I heard and, of that. Yeah, and he made this he makes this brand new pre-workout that's phenomenal. But uh I always usually just take one scoop mm-hmm. and it's 200 milligrams of caffeine. And I'm like, let me take a scoop and a half. And I'm like, <laughs> so <laughs> 300. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> fucking nuts. Anything over, anything over like 200 for me, I, I start. I thought he said a serving. Didn't yeah, sorry. You with him, dude? Yeah, two, two scoops is a serving. Average. Yeah, so you only took 150. Oh, two no, scoops. Oh, see. No, two scoops is 400 milligrams. I thought he said a serving was two scoops. Yeah, but that's 400 milligrams of caffeine. Serving? That's yeah. Excessive. Yeah, so yeah. I took... I took a, that's how I got confused. Cause the first time I spoke to him, I was like, dude, I don't feel anything. But I took a half a scoop thinking that one scoop was 400 milligrams of caffeine. And then oh. I was like, oh, all right. So then I took one scoop. I'm like, all right, cool. And then today I took a scoop and a half. All right, I'm going to shut the fuck up. 400 makes me that sick. Mr. Hyde used to have like 400, yeah, that makes me 420 sick. milligrams in one yeah. scoop. Yeah, I was thinking that exact th- same thing. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Oh, yeah, it's way too. A lot of times I get, uh, I, I get don't the, even get, Caffeine in my pre workout, really? Non stew. Oh, right. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. So, this kid used to come to my house, he was, in, he was a nice kid, and he was in, like, in his 20s. And he used to, he uh, he, he got he had gotten 10 milligram Anavar, and he was taking one pill a day. And this kid was so nervous that he would call me, he would call me up, he'd be like, dude, you know, I think I'm breaking out from the Anavar. I'm like, dude, you're not. I said to him, this is what I said to him, Eric. I was like, you got PlayStation? He goes, yeah, why? I was like, play PlayStation for an hour and then call me back. He's like, what? I was like, because your mind is out of control. Overthinking. Yeah, yeah, overthinking this. I'm like, nobody breaks out with 10 milligrams of them. No. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got that one. All right, I'm going to give this one to you, Eric. Well, everybody could. Best way to grow calves. Just, I've always liked doing them. Uh, like higher volume and uh, more frequently, mm. like, you know, three or four times a week. And yeah, I like doing. Yeah, that's sorry. really, really uh, like your genetic structures. You know, if they're if they're high place or however whatever you would say, it's uh, you know, you, you can't really grow them to make them longer. You can only grow them to make them bigger. If that makes sense. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, I agree. I train them every other day. I only, I've always had pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong again. I have to, I have to reiterate this all the time. I'm not on your guys' level. Okay. I never got past the NPC level, oh. <laughs> but I've always had good legs and good calves and they've always grew, grew. So I always did a high volume uh, calf workout once a week. I didn't, never really had to like really kill it. You know, I think if you're doing cart, like incline treadmill and stairmaster, do they, that, my calves blow up from that. Really? Yeah. I do like an eight degree incline. Um, like a three mile an hour walk, and um, yeah, by the time I'm done, my calves are got veins going all through them. Really? Yeah, I, I do my cardio on the hill, like by my house, and I'll walk up the hill backwards a lot of the time. Ah, okay. Like on my tiptoes. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! All right, let's see next one. Okay, this person is training very heavy, but he's uh, having problems with his wrist. He's asking about wrist support. Um, and how to get better wrist support. I don't know. I just use the fucking wrist wraps. Yeah, that's what, yeah, wrist wraps. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Makes a good one. Um, Jesus. Who's Iron the Rebel. guy? What is it? Iron, Iron Rebel. Rebel. Iron Rebel. No, that's not the guy I was thinking of. Mark Bell. That's it. That's the guy I'm thinking of. I don't remember his, his company, but um, he makes yeah. a good one. I think he makes Slingshot. Oh, slingshot, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it Slingshot? But no, I think it's another name. I th- um I think that's he, the brand though. He makes he makes the, uh, the, the elbow 
uh, which elbow. is good. Yeah. What is it? I, I, yeah, the elbow sleeves. I use those ones. And I, yeah, I know I use his elbow sleeves, which I got to get another pair actually. And um, power, I think power, right? I'm not sure. Kind of, power. Yeah, he he his stuff is pretty good. Uh, all right. Yeah, it drives me nuts though when someone's at the gym and they just have wrist wraps on the whole time they're there. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, like, the, like the, put them on and tighten them, and then when you're done with the set, take them off. Oh like, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be able to wear them like the whole time you're there. Right. It's kind of like uh, wrapping your knees when you're squatting. It's like you can't yeah, squat. right. Yeah, yeah. You take uh, it off when you're done. You don't like just yeah. leave. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That means yeah. they're not on right, you know. Dude, there are there are so many things I see at the gym that just blow me away that I never saw when I was a kid. Eric, I'm probably a lot older than you guys, right? But I, things that I never saw as a kid, and it just seems like that. Like I've seen bad form, but it just looks like they're trying to reinvent the wheel so bad, you know. Mm-hmm. And they're splitting hairs before they even they're putting the cart before the horse. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, or is it the horse before the cart? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not good with animals, but uh, the, yeah. horse. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. horse, the, the cart doesn't pull the horse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's the horse before the yeah. cart. Okay. Right, yeah, you, right. you, 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 no. Yeah. No. Okay. No. It's, I don't yeah. fucking know. All right. It's a fucking horse and a cart. And if it's backwards, it's wrong. So uh, like a lot of guys take their shoes off and they can and squat. Right. They don't have a good form. And like, it's like, you like, you like splitting hair, like, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, um, you know, uh, going, uh, you know, a bench press, you know, with your hands too close in and you're, and you're, um, you know, you're not doing a full range of motion. It's pretty, it's pretty like obvious, you know, you see it a lot. Especially, especially now with like TikTok and all that, like you can learn stuff from there if you follow the right people. Like, like that in a second. And it, you, and it just makes it worse. You would think that it would make it I think easier. That makes it worse. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The girls, there was there was this two Smith machines in the in, in the gym I go to, right? And the, there's literally a line for the girls to use the Smith machines to do uh, uh, thrusts. Yeah, or good kickbacks. Yeah, it's like you realize that there's an other stuff you could do besides, you know, <laughs> you know, thrusts. You know, and they, they it's like they all do the same workout, and they all want you want to get a big butt. And they all tuck their t-shirts in in the back so you could see their butt or no butt or whatever. It's unbelievable. I don't know. What do I know? I'm an idiot. All right. What is an effective rebound strategy after a show? I mean, I'm thinking this person means um, steroids, you know, what to take. No. But it could be... I meant food. Oh, you meant food. Oh, okay. So go eat like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What do you think, yeah. Danny? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've been there where I've eaten too much, you know, for a week, and then you get horrible edema, and I mean, that could even be dangerous, especially if you're getting on a plane. Mm-hmm. You know, you play, um, you I, terrible. I, yeah, I mean, I, I had a time where I, I got on a plane, and it was pretty scary. Yeah. And what happened? I just started getting a horrible headache. I thought I was going to keel over. Wow. Wow, really? I yeah. took an aspirin and it made me feel better. But yeah, I mean, you know, you can get edema like that. You can cause all kinds of problems. It's hard. It's hard when you come off a a diet and all of a sudden you have a, a cheat meal. It's 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 almost like you're opening the floodgates. You know, uh, when everybody's like, you know, just take it easy. It's it's difficult not to. It's like I. Uh, I have been starving myself for whatever twelve <laughs> weeks. I, you know, I but always, the, I always add up, <clears throat> ate like a prep meal before, like when the show was done, and we're out to go out to dinner. Mm-hmm. I would eat like you know a cup of rice and uh, like chicken or steak or something, just so I'm not like starving by the time I get to the restaurant. If that makes sense, that's a good idea. Actually. And I don't that's, eat as much. You know, that's a that's a really good idea. The last NPC show I did after I was done, I went to go talk to. Oscar Arden to train me for um, a national level show, but I decided never to do it. And we were talking about the what to use as far as anabolics afterwards. And he said, he told me after a show um, to rebound the best after a show, use fast acting 
anything fast acting, you know, propanate, uh, NPP or whatever the case may be. So it gets into your system quick. That's what he said. I don't know. What do you think, Danny? I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about a Nandrolone, if you were to use DECA, it would take at least a month for it to get in your system, probably longer, maybe yeah. six weeks to, to build to a full, um, you know, a full level, like a it's normal level that it would be. Mm. So, um, yeah, I mean that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it's, it made sense when he um when he talked to me. He was uh you know, he was probably the best coach that I ever like spoke to, right? And um that it was funny, Eric, that it was like not far after maybe a couple of years after Kai left him for George Farah. Mm-hmm. And you could tell he was still bothered over it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because he said that Kai didn't say anything to him. He just just ignored him after he just ghosted him. Up and left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how true it is. It's just his side of the story. That's you know? how coaching goes. Yeah, it's kind of, you know. All the time. It, yeah, I, I have it, people that I've turned pro, and then they do that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. There's no loyalty, you know. Yeah. But, you know, but I don't, like, I don't understand why it's so difficult, especially for a dude, like, especially for a guy. Like if Eric is training me and he's been training me for three years and I think that he's taking me to the level that I can't get past anymore and I need to move on and find somebody else. I don't know why it's difficult to just go, hey, Eric, listen, man, you know, you and me have had a good run, but I really need to see if there's somebody else. I'm not seeing any changes, uh, you know, no hard feelings, um, uh, you know, or maybe we'll work together in the future. I don't I don't understand why that's so difficult. I just give a phone call and say, "Hey, this is like I'm yeah. not like I'm not, I'm not calling you uh, talk about it. I'm just calling to let you know because I respect you." Right? Yeah, and I don't understand why that is is so so difficult. I mean, I, I don't. It's it's you're not breaking up with a girlfriend where you're like, "Oh, this chick is gonna fucking freak out." You know what I mean? It's but it, I, I and it's like that with everything. Like I don't like I, I work in the sewer, right, Eric, full time, oh. right? And uh, they give us paid time to. Uh, to uh to shower and change so mm-hmm. you'll go there dressed in your street clothes you put your work clothes on and then you 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 we have actually laundry we could do there so you put your work clothes there so you don't bring them home because it's gross right. and then and then some guys are dirty some mm-hmm. guys are just dirty and there's this one guy in an aisle and the guys in the aisle were we were all talking they were complaining that he's dirty and he smells and nobody wants to say anything and i was like i'll tell him i think like, i don't know why it's so difficult so I just pulled him over to the side. I'm like, dude, you got to wash your clothes and take a shower. Guys are complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard. I mean, maybe it's yeah, me. you can do it like respectfully, you know? Yeah, right. I don't know why it's so fucking In the most so... respectful way. Yeah. Especially somebody. Wait, so when it, so when a trainer is training you for years, like, because, you know, you know, let's face it. Um, he took him to, Oscar took him to two Arnold Classic wins. And that was the only time he ever beat Phil. Like you can at least fucking tell the guy. I mean, if his story is true, you know. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of he said. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I believe that story. I, I sort of why because you could tell when I went to, I went to his house in Brooklyn. You could tell he was uh, he was still, he was hurt over it, you know. Uh, but whatever. All right. Last question. Breaking out on one shoulder. Um during a steroid cycle, why do you think somebody would break out on one particular shoulder? Um, okay. I don't know. Is- <laughs> Talk to a dermatologist. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I think it might be maybe you were injected while you were dirty or didn't take a shower or sweaty and some bacteria got in and it's probably not acne. It's probably a little bit of a, some kind of a rash or something to that effect if it's only on one shoulder you know if you're breaking out on your back or something like that then all right, it could be it could be you know the oils or whatnot but yeah i would know. think it's just one spot maybe like you're carrying something there or, or i don't know that's where you carry your gym bag or yeah right 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 right, right. Yeah. yeah you know that's that's a that's what i think but anyway that is going to wrap it up for anabolic academy i don't know which one we're on just do me a favor everybody like like and subscribe. I mean, I'm bringing you young blood coming up. 
We had <laughs> Eric Wood. Where who was the last guy we had last time? Ryan, what's his last name? Danny Foster. Forster, right? Ryan Forster. We had Stu before Stu all of a sudden blew up after the after the guest posing with with the Hunter. Right after that, he turned into like a yeah, superstar. He looked good. Yeah, it, it did look good. Um, speaking of which, actually, uh, uh, I'll leave this as the last question. Eric, what the hell do you do for your back? Because your back looks like a movie screen. It's on, uh, you know. I don't. I've always really. Uh, I connect really well when I train. For some reason, I don't. You know when you like just can feel the contraction and all that. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm trying to get like learn that for all the other body parts. But yeah, I just do a lot of lat pull downs, uh, barbell rows, kind of like old school movements, dumbbell rows, yeah. deadlifts. I pulled back from deadlifts, so I, I don't really do them as much anymore. If I do, I do like higher reps, you know, ten and twelve, but uh, pretty old school movements really. And then some machine work. That seems to be uh, always the discussion. When we, mm-hmm. when we talk about, when we, a lot of times, you know, Jason Ons is always on the MD show with us. And we have like Kamali on sometimes. And the old school guys are always saying, you know, don't don't try to reinvent the wheel. Right. Stick yeah. stick, stick to the heavy rows and, and the deadlifts and your back is going to grow. Stay away from the machines. Right. You know? that, that stuff makes me really sore. So, you know, it's a good, it's like a good sore too, so. Kind of use that as a gauge of what works and what doesn't. Right, right, right. All right. That'll do it for Anabolic Academy. Don't forget, like and subscribe and share this with people. Don't be a bunch of bastards.